Well, the oscillating multi-tool came out of retirement to have one more bout with this old glass trunk. Since I had the boat hole out of my garage, it was time to get started rebuilding the cap of this boat. But before you can rebuild, sometimes you have to tear down. And that's exactly what I did by cutting out the old plywood subfloor for the bow rider section of the cap. Like I've done previously, I took the oscillating multi-tool and cut through the old fiberglass tabbing that was holding the plywood in place. Then once I had the tabs cut free, I took a pry bar and hammer and finally removed the cap subfloor. And to my surprise, I found a colony of ants living underneath the plywood. So I had to deal with that next. I guess replacing the wood wasn't a bad idea after all, seeing how everything was rotted and full of ants. The next step was removing all the old fiberglass compound from the cap, which took some time. However, I came up with a new technique to help speed this process up. The last time I was in the deconstruction phase, I didn't have an air hammer and chisel, but times have changed and these two tools really made it much easier to remove the compound and wood pieces that were left over and stuck to the cap. I really didn't want to use the angle grinder here for the whole process, so that's why I chose the air hammer and chisel combination. But once I had removed most of the wood and fiberglass compound, I broke out the old angle grinder and flat disc and finished the job. Once everything was nice and smooth, I moved on to marking out and cutting the new replacement wood to put back on this cap. To do this, I measured out the old piece of wood that I had just removed, and I found that it was half inch plywood. I then broke out some of my leftover marine grade plywood, which is also in half inch. And I traced the shape of the piece that I removed onto that marine grade plywood. Then I went to cutting. And as I was cutting the shape out, I was cutting it on the inside of the lines that I had just traced to make sure that it wasn't wider than the original piece that I had taken out of the boat. Once I had this piece cut out, I found that I would need to cut the piece into two sections so that it would lay down correctly. The original was in three pieces, but I knew that that wasn't necessary for this build. Only the smallest section of this new piece needed to be cut off and placed separately. This is due to the slope of the cap and how it ramps up in the bow rider section. Once I had these cut how I needed them, so I cleaned the surfaces with acetone as I whipped up a batch of fiberglass putty. And I got to working setting these pieces in place. To get the pieces in place like I'm talking about here, I just emptied the putty onto the bottom of the cap. Next, I used a trowel to spread the putty around where I wanted it. Then I just slammed the pieces of wood down onto the putty, and I used the spatula here around the edges to smooth and fill in the voids that were there. To make sure that these pieces would bond correctly, I took some scrap lumber and then some clamps to clamp down the wood to the cap. I then smoothed the edges of the putty that squished out around the sides, making my fillets. Then I let this cure for 24 hours, the next day, I came back and removed the clamps and sanded down the edges again. Once I had sanded everything down and cleaned with acetone, I began laying out my fiberglass cloth to plan my attack. So part of the plan here involved using one layer of 1708 around the entire edges of the new pieces of wood. Then the one piece of 1708 goes up and over the entire uh, back half there, uh, the smaller piece of wood that you see. Um, then again, just taking fiberglass resin, soaking down, and making sure everything gets co good coverage here to adhere properly to the butt cap. Once I had the 17 weight in place, I then put a piece of CSM to skin on top of the biggest piece of wood here, making sure it was all nice and saturated as well, and then it all came out pretty well. One final thing I did here is in this area I have highlighted, I skinned it with a layer of CSM. My camera didn't record it, so I can't show you, but I wanted to mention it. And that was it to finish this up. Well, that's what it took to get the old cap subfloor removed, rebuilt, better and stronger than it was before. I feel way more comfortable knowing that I've done this piece after seeing what I removed. I know this is gonna be better and not gonna have any kind of back in my mind I wish I would have done that while I had the chance. Um, I was just trying to scratch off any doubt that I might have had moving forward uh, when I'm in this boat for the long run. So, as always, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you can follow me along as I get this old Glastron back up and running. As always, my name is Josh, and again, thank you for watching.